<laughs> Is that good? Is it yummy? <laughs> So the first thing you're going to do is spray your pans and I'm putting parchment paper inside them for just an extra assurance that it won't stick. You're going to start with three cups of almond flour, one cup of tapioca flour, and a fourth a cup of coconut flour. And I think it's the three of these flours combined that makes this cake so good and makes it work so well. Next, we're gonna put in two cups of sugar and one and a half cups of raw cacao powder. Then I've got two teaspoons of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt. And that's all of the dry ingredients, so I'm going to go ahead and mix them. Start on a low speed so you don't get everything flying up in the air. Just mix to combine and set aside. Now I'm going to crack in four large eggs. One cup of water one and a half cups of full-fat coconut milk one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and two teaspoons of vanilla extract half a cup of coconut oil And then I'm going to whisk those together until combined. Now I'm slowly going to add it to my dry ingredients with a mixer on low. And you're just going to incorporate it and let it mix together. I use a spatula to get the sides scrape down and the bottom of the bowl because there always seems to be more. Now I'm going to add it to my three pans and bake in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. After they finish and a fork or toothpick comes out clean, I went ahead and took them out. While they cooled off, I got started on the chocolate buttercream. I creamed together one cup of softened butter and slowly added eight cups of powdered sugar. I used butter and powdered sugar, but to keep this vegan, or gluten-free, dairy-free, you can use uh, palm shortening and coconut sugar. Then I slowly added in about a half a cup to three-fourths cup of coconut milk. And two teaspoons of vanilla. Then I went ahead and frosted it just like a, every other cake. It's time to enjoy and my daughter decided to come down and from her quiet time and join me in the camera you'll see in just a moment look at that nice piece of never mind <laughs> this is legit good you guys this recipe was fantastic I gave it to my husband he loved it and couldn't even believe that it was gluten-free and dairy-free 
enjoy. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed it, and pass along to a friend. Thanks for watching. Bye.